for the basketball game tonight? Uh, the team will be going to the game. You know, I'll be there. But uh, yeah, we try to get the. I think uh, most of our team, our, our players, will be at the game. So I support basketball and we help. You know, just encourage them to support a lot of the other athletic uh, teams as well. So yeah, just when they have time. I think, I think it's important for everyone to see that we're, you know, with in line with all the other sports, not just football. You kind of up the ante for other coaches. You think some of the other coaches, like Coach <laughs> Rowe, is going to try to take the uh, the Kalani Satake approach? And, no, and... I don't. I don't expect any of that. I mean, I just um, I know they're all cheering. We all cheer differently. I mean, I, I don't think Lavelle did half the stuff I did. You know, but. Um, it's not rehearsed. Otherwise, I would have done the robot a lot better. <laughs> um, it's been years since uh, I used to do that on break dance on cardboard boxes. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't expect any of the, uh, the uh, coaches to do that because I know we have their support and uh, yeah, we, we we get to see a lot of the other coaches in, in a lot of meetings that we do with the, with the department. And so uh, it's been awesome just getting to know everybody and and um, you know just. Being involved with them, we can share a lot of ideas about recruiting and about coaching and organization. So, uh, you yeah, know, there's a lot of things that we can learn from each other. What's your biggest surprise so far this spring? Um, like something you didn't expect, whether it's in the coaching ranks or the playing ranks. Big surprise. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a surprise, but I thought the um, just the buy-in level. Uh, it's been awesome with the players. You know, they just they trust what we're doing and they have bought in everything that we ask them to do. Uh, that's from the stuff in the, you know, academics and stuff that we're demanding on them on the field, and in the weight room especially. Uh, they just trust us, and I think that uh, has a lot of, you know, it's a big compliment to them and their families the way that they're raised. But also, I think that's what that's what's special about BYU, where uh, you get guys that are going to be, you know, be in line with what you want, and most of them are going to be obedient to what you're asking them to do. What do you want to get out of the spring game? Um. I don't know, I want to entertain the fans a little bit, you know, but I don't want to give away the playbook. So uh, obviously I think next year's spring games will be a lot different than this year. But, and, you know, I, I think there's people that know that we're going to do a, a few things uh, differently than we've done in the past. But I don't, we don't need to give the playbook away right now. So, yeah, it, it, and at the same time, we're going to hold out some guys. and We, we don't have enough to make two full teams, so it'll be more like a scrimmage. Uh, but we have enough that I think, you um, They'll be able to see some highlights of, especially the younger guys that have done well in spring. Speaking of your playbook, how, how much? Give me a percentage of how much of your defense has been implemented in spring, and how much you've got left for fall, and how much of your offense you believe has been implemented, and how much you may have left. Through I spring. think defensively, we've done um, a lot more install than I think. Just the players could handle a lot more than we anticipated, but um, for the most part, the foundation has been set. You know. And, on both sides of the ball, defensively and offensively. And so um, we haven't been able to hit, like, you know, kickoff and kickoff return, <clears throat> punt return much in special teams because that's not really the focus right now. We're trying to get our punt team and our, our place kicking set first. Uh, but the offensive and defensively, I think we've we've done uh, established our identity and uh, we'll have a few more things to add. I mean, I don't think you ever say that everything's installed, but for what we're looking at and the, the talent that we have coming back on both sides of the ball, uh, we have enough right now to go into a game, but uh, we'll specify it more for the opponents that we're going to see. How's the health of your team right now? Great. I mean, we have a couple guys banged up here and there, but overall it's been really good. How, how will this year's spring game be different? Well, I don't know what the last year's spring game was, so <laughs> I can't tell you. It's not going to be a, a, a game like I wanted because we only have uh, nine alignment we can really go, you know. And, and um, but it'll be it'll be more like a scrimmage. We'll try to see how many plays we can get out there, and it'll be competitive, you know. But we'll have we'll have uh, you know some a good warm up, and then we'll have a, a good portion of it be skelly, so we can get Taysom involved as well, and, and then we'll see how uh, the scrimmage part goes. I mean, it, it, it's kind of just open to whatever we can do and how many guys can get out there and, and um, you know, get some reps. So we want to see some of the young guys in the second part of the scrimmage and, and hopefully get them a chance to, so we can just see them, evaluate them a little bit more. So I, don't, I can't tell you exactly what it's going to be like. I'm not going to set a limit to saying we're going to do this many plays. I'm just going to kind of keep it open to see if we have 
we have enough to evaluate all our players on this team. How is how is Reno how is Reno responded? And, and what's what's well, he's great? What's he like out there? And what's it like having him out there? Reno's unique because he has that NFL background, and then he also has played receiver, slot receiver, and he's also played running back. You know, so and returner. yeah, and he's a returner as well. So he's done a lot of things. He has a lot of experience. He's been coached by some of the best minds ever, and uh, you know he's a he, he's a great complement to Ty. You know, I think he's done a great job with the running backs. I've been really impressed with you know Trey Ty and his and, and what he's been able to do. Squally's done some really good things in spring as well. We've kind of held Jamal back a little bit, but Jamal is ready to go anyways. I mean, if you look at the way Jamal runs the ball, he's a lot bigger now. And, I'm looking forward to seeing you know that crew run the ball. I mean, I know I'm forgetting some other guys. KJ is doing some good things too. So um, yeah, it's, it's a good group, and Algie's doing some good things, and he's he's going to kind of moving them around a little bit. But we're going to get we're going to get the best eleven out there, and I don't know what personnel it's going to be, but it's going to include Jamal, and maybe you know we'll see what else who the other supporting cast will be. How has Squally Canada handled that? He had the one play in the bowl game, and he you know had the fumble. How is his Attitude been and how's he kind of overcome that? Well, I mean that, that what you do is just get back and keep playing, you know, and I, um, you know, I, I think that mistakes happen, but um, You know, well, we just got to prepare and make sure that we don't give up big plays just, You know that something that we could have corrected along the way and improving and also in, in practice and I think his ball security has gotten a lot better since uh, since we've been here from day day one to now, it's been a lot better. But he's got a really good speed and good burst, and um, he sees the field really well. And so, I'd rather have a guy that can do that than work on ball security afterwards. You know, but his ball security is getting better. We just got to um, keep demanding that he takes care of the football because the other stuff is really good. Is Troy Hines coming along? Doing good. I mean, it's you know he he can play a lot of different positions too. And so I, I think we'll. He, he's still not full goal yet, but uh, we'll, we'll see how how what he transforms to be in this in this team, whether it's tight end or D end. We'll see. I mean, I think he can play D end, outside backer, tight end. He can do a lot of different things. He's good, great talent. I don't suppose Taysom will do anything in the spring game. No, we'll, we'll probably have some do some some of the scouting stuff and everything. He had, he had a really good day today. I mean, he's made some really nice throws and you know. Just uh, he he wants to play, but we just got to keep reeling him back a little bit. But he made some really good throws today. He and Tanner had a really good day today, and, and uh, I, ex I expect that to continue. Ed Lamb shared the that Akili Davis is playing a little bit on defense as well. Can you speak of what you've seen from Akili, and are there other guys that you might try to cross train a little bit and see what they might do on either side of the ball? Akili is a great talent. And, I, and uh, for what Ed sees and I see, I can be a great corner. <clears throat> so um, that's kind of what he's playing right now. So yeah, it, him and Mike do a great job. And I, I've been really happy with the DBs, but uh, just, you know, I just think that he could be a great player on, on the offense or defense, but uh, we'll kind of figure it out as we go through. But right now he's, I mean, he, we had our tackling last week and he was the best one out of all the DBs. And so it was just natural for him, but He's got a lot of a lot of skill that can work on either side of the ball, and uh, you know we've been really pleased with uh, how much better he's been since he started in the corner. He's been doing really really well, and that's you know I think it's uh, I don't know I think it's a natural position for him. Anything else? That's it. Nothing hard, you guys. <laughs> All right, appreciate it.